Well, it's important to say that whereas we used to hold these uh, Nigeria econo Nigeria's Economic Outlook conferences quarterly were never possible. Um, years of election, you may miss one or two quarters. Uh, when uncertainty about election postponement and the rest of it set. And uh, the last time we held this conference was February last year. And uh, the pandemic broke out uh, while we were at the on, the, on tour of the conference. We were in Lagos, we were in Abuja, we were in Port Harcourt. And after that conference, lockdown set in. So for nearly 18 months, we had not been able to hold a conference. So June 2021 will be the first time since March 2020 that we'll be holding this conference. I uh, would like to emphasize that uh, interest in the conference is more than academic. It, its value is not academic. Uh, yes, it affords economic decision makers the opportunities to take stock and uh, clarify their view of where the economy is coming from, where it is and where it is likely to be headed. And when we say the economy, uh, you now have to make a distinction between global economy, the national economy, the continental between global and national. This, we are not putting a lot of emphasis on continental. We are dwelling on global. We are dwelling on national. We are dwelling on subnational. And uh, we are dwelling on sectoral. Uh, the sectoral arena is where a lot of the technological advancements uh, that are transforming the world economy and national economies and the uh, state economies are happening. So you can't afford uh, not to have some clarity about what the issues are at each of these different scales. So we will be looking at four sub themes. Uh, the gro global possible, you know, the global economy has become something of a furnace uh, that uh, in which countries, states, and sectors get heated up. And it's the question of how much of each level is uh, metal and how much is wax. Uh, so it, it's, it, it's a crucible that presents melting points to countries, to states, and to sectors. So the purpose of the conference is for economic decision makers. Uh, the overall emphasis is about wealth. Even in that furnace that we call the global crucible. That the furnace is, destruct is disruptive of some activities, but it's also transformative uh, of some activities. Uh, whether your particular experience will be transformative or disruptive depends on your reaction. So we will be distilling what decision makers at the national level needs to focus on to turn the challenge presented by the global crucible to transformative experiences for the country. We'll be looking at what the states need to do to turn the challenges to trans transformative experiences for the states. And we'll be looking at what sectors need to do to make the whole experience end up being transformative. Uh, that's the longer shot, you know, of the intention uh, of the conference. And uh, 
we've had significant expression of the interest. If you look at the list of those who have made reservation, uh, this promise is to be um, a multi-elix uh, setting in which people from public sector and diverse subsectors from the private sector uh, will come and uh, share experiences, you know, compare notes and uh, take a view of what to expect on the outlook of the economy and also have some consensus of what the best reactions will be uh, to soar, you know, above the challenges presented by the outlook uh, to seize the opportunities uh, presented in the outlook. In a nutshell, that's it.